Hey guys, welcome to the session on automation anywhere. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. In the previous session, we had created two tasks. That is the first task was to create a message box to display the message box. And the second task we had was the if else loop. We had created the if else loop and we had put some of the conditions that is we had compared with a variable. Okay. So now if you want to run the task, you will click on the run and the task will run at that time. So let me do that. So yeah, I got the message box. So by clicking on the run button, you can do the execution. And now suppose you want to edit your task, then how will you do? You will right click on your task. You will select the edit from here and you got the page, you got the task here and whatever you want to edit for that you will double click on the line that is I'm double clicking over here and I got this message box again where we had put previously the message and now I will put over some other message over here maybe hello automation anywhere edited and I will save this task now. So I save the task and I will click on save and once I have saved the run button is enabled so I will click on the run button. So yeah it is successful the editing is successful we got the edited, success, edited message ok so I will click on ok now and I can close this window. So you have seen how we can edit a task. Now you can see in this client this section the my task section from the task my task this is the task section here all the task you which which you will be creating that will be displayed over here so the file name type repeat status all will be available over here. Now if you move a bit down you will see here the three tabs properties schedule and trigger. So let's see what all we have in properties. In the properties we have the file name and the created at that is with that will be the date and the time and the status last line. So all the basic features of the task will be available over here in the properties. Now let's move to schedule what this is for. Now suppose how we are doing the execution. We are hitting the run button and after that the execution starts. Now suppose we want to do an execution at a particular time. We don't want to hit the run button but we had a fixed time at that date and at that time the execution should start automatically. So for that we have the schedule. So let's see how we can schedule the task execution. So for that we have an option of launch task. So if you click on the drop down and if you select on one time only you will have the start time and the start date. So the time and the date which you will be putting over here at that time your execution will start automatically. You don't need to hit the run button as of now. So we have the time as 5.22 pm. I will give the time as 23 and the start date I will not change and I will click the save. So as I click the save, we have the box with us here. This is the current task, which is schedule and we have the task description, the schedule time, that is the time and the date we have and the status. So once the time will be 5.23 p.m. that is 17.23 and yes, at this time the execution started and we have the message box with us. So the task ran automatically. We didn't hit the run button at this specific time and the date it started the execution. Okay, so this is very interesting feature of automation anywhere. So I will click on the OK and the execution got over. Now there is one more thing that is trigger. Here what we were doing, we were putting some start time and the start date. Okay, but suppose we don't want our execution to get scheduled at a particular time and date. We want our test case, uh, sorry not test case, we want our task to get executed when I will be doing a particular activity. That means I will trigger our test case, sorry not test case, the task. So I will click on the trigger 
and what all trigger types we have let's see we have the window file folder so if i will be doing any activity in the window file folder or any one of these the execution will start so i will click on the folder i need to give the folder name over here so let me create a folder so in the desktop i am creating a folder that is new folder and i will give the folder name over here so in the desktop i had the folder as new folder i clicked on okay and what action so in this folder in this specific folder what action you will do so that the automation anywhere will get the intimation that okay i need to start the execution because you will not click on the run button so in the action drop down let's see what all we have so we have several things here when folder is created when folder is deleted or renamed so let's select when folder is deleted and i will click on save so what activity we created so once we this specific folder is deleted start the execution we are saying automation anywhere that when the folder when the folder is deleted this specific folder is deleted start the execution and in the box also you can see the trigger type as folder and the action that is scheduled okay so let me delete that folder and once i delete that the execution should start so i am selecting this folder i and i will delete this one so i deleted this one and the my execution started okay so the task is executing automatically we have not clicked on run button so i will click on okay so in this way you can schedule you can use schedule or you can use trigger according to your requirement in the project so this is how you can schedule your task to do the execution automatically you can trigger your task to do the execution automatically without clicking on the run button so that's all for this session and in the coming sessions we will learn the other interesting facts of automation anywhere okay thank you have a nice day